Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Friday in FIFA Ultimate Team means another team of the season is here. And yes, this week it is Serie A. We are finishing the Bundesliga team of the season and we are transitioning to the Serie A team of the season, sporting uh, one of the players that we always look for in Tots, Cristiano Ronaldo, the one that everybody wants to pack, but very few do, kind of like Messi with a few weeks ago. But this was a loading screen that was released today on the game. At least for me right now, this is not even live in foot. I can't even see a loading screen right now in FIFA when I log into the game. Uh, but this is what it was earlier today. And I think it's honestly um, kind of easy to see who these players are going to be. I don't know if you guys are pretty active on Twitter or not, but a lot of people have been posting full uh, the full set, the full squad of players that are going to be in packs today. A lot of people had leaks. Um, so... That, I mean, some people already know who the whole team is going to be. We don't know if that's actually correct yet because EA has changed players in the past. I feel like this might be too short a notice for them to actually do that, though. Um, but supposedly the whole team was leaked today on Twitter. And uh, from that, I think we would know that these three cards on the front are on the left, Luis Alberto, in the middle, Raja Nine Golan, and on the right, Juan Cuadrado. So those are the players I do think are on the loading screen as of today, based on the leaks that people have been putting out on Twitter. Um, and we'll see if those are correct, right? Because for me, the fact that I don't see this loading screen when I load into foot is kind of interesting to me because I, that makes me wonder if EA knows that people are releasing these uh, these leaks and um, maybe EA has the ability to go out and change some cards, maybe change some ratings and positions if they want to. I don't know. Um, but some guys that are, you know, if we're thinking about guys that are going to get into toss today, we're thinking Cristiano Ronaldo, we're thinking probably a guy like Dybala gets in just for the hype because EA wants to sell money, right? They want to sell packs and make money with this promo. Again, it's another Tots promo, man. A lot of new cards are going to be coming out. Uh, guys like Lissandro Martinez, uh, could possibly be getting in. I mentioned nine Golan, uh, like a tail Hernandez, right? I mean, one thing you can do is just kind of go back and look and see how many cards, how many informs a certain card got this year. And that can kind of go to show you how well they played and how much hype they have. This guy getting a Tots card would be mental. and be a crazy looking card. Um, but I do think it's going to be, I think there's going to be a lot of white shirts in today's promo, which means a lot of Paimante Calcio players. Again, if we look at all of Ronaldo's dynamic images, of course, they don't have the image rights this year. Uh, so if you look at the dynamic images for Ronaldo, if I could find his card, um, a lot of them, of course, he has gotten the nickname White Shirt because of his, uh, in the in the dynamic images, they have white shirts on. They had to like cut out the Juventus logo. Again, look look right here with this Ronaldo, White Shirt, White Shirt, the White Shirt team of the year. Uh, I think you're going to see a decent amount of white shirts today, aka P. Monte Calcio, Juventus players. Again, like Quadrado could possibly get in. Chesney, I think Dybala has a shout to get in as well. Those are the type of players I do think you're going to see get in today. Maybe an Ilicic as well, you know, like the striker who's just had a fantastic year and in Champions League as well. I really hope this guy gets tots. 91 Ilicic. I mean, if they boost him up a couple ratings, maybe like he gets close to 90 pace, bump up his agility and balance a lot, EA Sports. This guy might be kind of fun to use, right? Uh, so that could be kind of cool with the, the four star, four star, just with the absolute cannon left foot. He's already got. 98 long shots, 97 shot power. Give him that 99 finishing and boost up his composure and agility balance a bit. Could be a nice looking card. I don't know how hype Serie A Tots is going to be though. I feel like we have just been kind of, we started with Prem. We had La Liga that was a little bit less hype. We kind of lowered it down a bit with Bundesliga. And I feel like we might even lower it a bit down again with Serie A. So again, it is a new set of Tots cards, right? And that's going to change the market up a lot. That's going to cause people to go and sell cards that they had in their team. You know, a lot of people bought up these Bundesliga cards today. They packed them in rewards. They packed it from guarantees in their reds. And a lot of these actually went down today, which shows me that there's just not a lot of hype for the Bundesliga. Uh, and we've seen this every single week. The previous week's team of the season has almost gone down. Almost all cards have gone down on that Friday just because there's not as much hype, right? If you look at some of these guys, Fakir, Messi's pretty low still. Um, some of these guys have rebounded back up a little bit, but a lot of these guys are down a lot lower than what they were. Same thing with especially the Premier League. Look at some of these cards. 3.6, 1, 3 for Aubameyang and Son. I mean, this Aguero was 2.5 mil, 2.4 mil. This Again, Van Dyke was 2.9. 
A lot of these cards, if you have TOTS cards, I just continue to see them dropping, especially the Bundesliga cards today, because just how not hype they are, and the fact that they barely, most of them barely went up with rewards, I kind of think these guys are going to drop. Some of them will bounce a bit, but I do feel like a lot of these guys are going to drop. So if you want to take the cash and the coins on those, I feel like you should take the coins on those cards. Um, and then the, a lot of the stuff that other people look at on a day like today is with the new set of team of the season cards coming out, um, what kind of cards are going to move on the market? A lot of these cards have already started to go up in price because of people seeing the leaks today. It was honestly um, pretty obvious that people started investing in cards today right when the leaks came out, right? Look at this Raja Nine Golan, 250, 260,000 coins for his highest version in the game, the 88 rated headliner. Look what happened today with this card. I was watching this card for the past two days. I have two over three of them on my transfer list, I think, that I bought around 215, under 220K. I know today was rewards, so we went up a little bit, right? But people knew Serie A was coming. People had the leaks. Look what happened today when this card, when the leaks were released on Twitter, this guy almost boomed instantly from 230K up to 260. Had a couple undercuts around 6 p.m. UK and has been around 260K since because people saw that he's getting into team of the season. People saw the rating that he's supposed to be getting. And people went out and they bought a lot of these Serie A specials today. This is what happened last week with the Bundesliga as well. If we remember a guy like Nico Schultz, a lot of these cards, when people saw the leaks and they saw the cards that are getting into tots, they went out and they bought a lot of these specials. Look at this. Nico Schultz last week went from 68K on Friday up to 118K on the weekend, then went down and then continued to skyrocket into uh, today, 130,000 coins. This is a guy I would expect to probably go down a little bit this weekend. Um, but I think you're seeing a very similar pattern with these Serie A cards. If there's any of them that you think are still low, you can peruse around the market. Like this Tonali card, I feel like this card is a bit low still. This is a end game CDM. This guy's only up 25,000 coins, about 20K from where he was at his lowest. You might be able to snag him. He was 380, you know, just under 400K. He's 425 right now. You might be able to snag this guy tomorrow for maybe like a 410K in the morning before um, like tots come out. This would be a card I feel like a lot of people would go out and use for the Italian links. It's a very good card. He fits the meta, to be honest. He's kind of like a, a shorter, just medium high, great CDM with good pace, good acceleration, uh, high strength and aggression. I think a lot of people like this card. They used him a lot earlier in the year and you might see some more hype around this card. This could be somebody who maybe rises tomorrow. You're gonna see more cards rise in the market as well. This Mertens is somebody who I, full disclosure, have I think 10 of these guys on my transfer list right now, all bought at 240K or below, just because I thought regardless of whether Mertens gets a team of the season or not, I bought these cards on Wednesday. I said, you know what? I think this guy is gonna go up regardless of whether he gets a tots because this card is 230, 240,000 coins at the time. If he gets a TOTS card, his TOTS card last year, which I think he had one last year, uh, was, yeah, he did, 95 Mertens. This card was over a million coins by far uh, on, oh, it was an SBC. That's right. It was an SBC. He didn't actually get one in the game. Uh, he got one in FIFA 18. But in FIFA 18, I know the markets are very different nowadays. But this guy was only 740K. Interesting. But with the amount of inflation on the market, uh, I could just tell you that this guy's team of the season card, if he got one, I'm not sure if he's going to get one or not, but this guy's tots card, uh, this year would definitely have started over a million coins, which would have created a huge gap. And this is a very meta card that tons and tons of people have used throughout the year this year. So that's why I bought him. According to the leaks, he did not get a tots card. That's why he is rising up even more. I hate that I have to include so much talking about leaks in this video today. I honestly do not like it at all. But it is what it is because it is affecting the market and I'm here to talk to you guys about this market, the content on this game and how those two things intertwine. And again, a lot of things today and a lot of stuff this weekend before the actual squad gets released is kind of revolving around the leaks because a lot of people are acting upon those leaks in the game to go and try to make some coins. So if you see some Serie A special cards out on the market that are still kind of low, like this Tonali that I mentioned, I know I keep switching back and forth between Footbin and the game, my bad. Go out, look for some informs, out of pack special cards. Um, even a guy like Florenzi, who is a league un player, but he's Italian, right? Uh, look for some of those links, right? Maybe this Ericsson card, 123,000 coins. 
for a pretty cheap but also pretty usable center attack in mid with a five-star wee foot. This guy's up 20k. You know, maybe you look in the team tomorrow. Again, this is one thing that we always look at. With Bundesliga Tots, I saw this team and I was like, okay, what cards are going to rise on day one? I saw a lot of strikers that were very expensive. I saw a lot of center attack and mids. So I wanted to avoid the expensive strikers and expensive center attack and mids that were in the game. And I saw a window for um, left backs or right backs and cheap strikers. So I looked up a guy by the name of Mateus Cunha last week. This guy on the morning of team of the season was 100K. He was 100,000 coins. He was already up a little bit. And he went up from 100K to 120K on the weekend. So there's stuff like that that you could look for today. Like this Ericsson card kind of looks interesting to me. Zlatan Ibrahimovic's card. Um, if we get a lot of strikers tomorrow, I don't know if I'd be super, super pumped about this card. He doesn't have a lot of hype. But if there's not, I mean, we could, get, we could be getting Ilicic. We could get Lukaku, Latara Martinez. So I'm not a huge fan of this card, to be honest, because I feel like there's a lot of strikers coming. Um... But that's the kind of stuff you could look for today. Right backs, left backs, center backs, for sure. Um, more people need those cards to link in their teams. Maybe this Ribery card today. Again, it's a striker, but you could play him at Cam. And that's just an emotional card for a lot of people in FIFA. Just watch the out-of-pack specials today. If you want to make some coins, maybe look for some panic this morning on the Syria specials. I don't think there'd be a lot of panic. Um... You know, and, and if you want to try to trade with the TOTS cards, we'll talk about that in a second as well. Like when you want to buy those day one. But for content today, I would expect a couple things. I would expect a new objective or two because Sabitzer is still here for seven days. But the Regulon goes away tomorrow. And the other TOTS, um, who was the other guy we had? Oh, this guy goes away. Derosion. Derosion and um, Regulon go away today on foot on Friday. So we'll probably get another player moments card and then another TOTS SF objective player. And as well, what they've been doing almost consistently to a T every single week is they do an SBC and two objectives on that on the Friday. And the Friday SBCs have been pretty good value. If you think back, we had Saul on the first Friday. We had Witzel last week and we had um, in Diddy the week before. So I would expect a good value SBC today for whatever card does come out. And when we speak about SBCs, we think about SBC fodder investments. And I do want to talk to you guys about this because SBC fodder on the low end is still very expensive and I don't want you guys investing in it. It's going to get hit with lightning rounds. So hold off on that stuff. 83s, 84s, 85s, all inflated. They've come down a bit, but they're still inflated. I want to see these 84s back at like two and a half to 3,000 coins, 85s in like the six, five to 6K range. And 86 isn't like the 13K range this weekend. I do think there's a possibility for them getting there, um, but I want them to get hit with lightning rounds and supply before we start to look at those again. If you're going to buy anything, I've, I've been talking about a club stock on these cards for the past couple of days. If you've already club stocked and you want to buy a few more, you have the green light for that on me. 87s, 88s, 89s, 90s, 91s. You buy one, throw it in the club. You know, 89s, this is like, some of the cheapest prices we've ever seen all year for 89s, at least in the second half of the year. This stuff is really, really cheap. But these cards don't have as much demand because there's a lot of untradeable TOTS cards that are out that have higher ratings than 89. So we don't have a lot of high rated squad requirements in the game as well. So that's why I'm saying maybe just buy one, throw it in the club. We've got Ultimate TOTS coming up in a couple weeks. That could be a big time where they re require some high rated squads. That's something to think about there. Um, but I really want to watch this 83 to 86 rated fodder the most because that's the stuff that's been bumping up and down. Uh, if it does go low this weekend, we'll be watching that and trying to get a time to buy in on some of that stuff. The last thing I want to talk about today is the TOTS cards, new TOTS cards. Let's say there's somebody that comes out on the team today and you got to play with them, right? You have to use them. Let's say it's like Chris Smalling. Supposedly he's getting a center back card. You, you got to use the card. You want to use him. Let's talk about what happened last week. This has happened the last two weeks. And the, the major thing here, there are cards that rise after the first couple hours of them being in packs into the evening. As people open packs, they have their coins ready. They want to buy, try out some of the new cards. The cards actually go up in price a decent amount. 
because people want to try them and the supply stops. It kind of is like a switch flips. The supply stops, they get kind of rare, they bounce back up and then they go back down overnight. So what happens is they come into packs here, they get packed, they drop, they drop, they drop, the supply stops and the demand hits for a short hour to half an hour period. They bounce back up, then they drop down overnight and get kind of low. They're going to start high again today. There's no saved pack saved up. The people are really going to be opening for Serie A, at least not that many. Be a couple, not that many though. Nothing like um, Community or nothing like the Premier League Tots by any means. Um, so if you want to try to trade with that short flip, you can look to buy the cards after the third lightning round, maybe at like, what, what would that be? 6 PM lightning round seven, 8 30 PM time UK, whatever that time is for you after the 125 K lightning rounds, watch for a quick dip on some prices. That could be a, a time where you snatch some cards and then watch them go up in the next hour to hour and a half. The major thing you have to pay attention for with this is make sure the card is rare. This is risky trick, risky trading, risky flipping. If the card is rare, it'll do good. Last week, Timo Werner was a perfect example of this. He was a very rare card first day. You, he fluctuated a lot in the first couple hours. So that told me afterwards when I saw this, he would have been a good card to trade with. Instead of Werner, I tried trading with Holland. I lost coins when I could have made hundreds of thousands on Timo Werner. So there's going to be coins that you, or cards that you can flip today for coins. Um, but if you're looking for the best and safest bet to make coins today, the out of pack specials from the Serie A are probably going to be your best bet. Um, as I showed some of them here on my transfer list, just go out, man. Like this Mertens that I looked at, he's already inflated, but could he go higher? Possibly, right? Napoli links, um, maybe a Lukaku SBC comes out, which drops his price a bit. Maybe if the Lukaku is very cheap, that could be an entry point for you. Um, you know, Guys, go on flipping. Look at some of the positions in the Serie A that are weak, right? Right back is very weak in the Serie A. That's something to think about, right? Goalkeeper, there's a lot of goalkeepers. Handanovic, you've got uh, Chesney, and you've got Donnarumma. So there's plenty of goalkeepers. Maybe you look at left backs. Maybe look at left and right wings. Those are often positions that are pretty weak. And then look at icons as well. If you're somebody with a lot of coins, prime icons like this Makalele, He's risen from 415K last night to 500K right now. You might see a couple undercuts in like the four low to mid four range. You know this guy's going to be 500K as a very good CDM icon in the game. That could be a flipping opportunity for you. So again, probably going to be a day where some other TOTS cards drop. You know, Bundesliga, La Liga, maybe some Prem cards actually drop in price with the new set of Team of the Seasons coming out. I hope that EA make a good decision today juice the stats i'm hearing stuff about maybe like uh the gomez card center attack in mid could be a pretty good i hope it's just a hype set of team of the season cards today that would be the thing that i'm most looking forward to a good value sbc and it's just another tots friday on the market waiting for the cool cards to come out seeing what other content we get and hopefully uh getting some good value sbcs because that is kind of what is controlling this game at the moment Quick update, right? I know you guys like the updates on the tots, right? I did a big pack opening tonight with Team of the Seasons. I went from 33 or 37 tots packed, I think, to 49. I got Royce tonight. I got Havertz. I got Muller and Upa Meccano. Davies was from earlier in the week, and I crafted Coutinho. So I'm going to get Boateng done. Might have to configure some of these guys in the squad. We will see. But Royce was a massive, massive W. Pretty excited to try this card out. Not sure if he's good or not. I'm going to try to maybe fix something up with Davies at left back, maybe a Boateng at center back, maybe Coutinho, Muller, Royce, we'll see. But I want to get some of those guys in the squad this weekend. We'll see what we can do about that. I will be playing weekly this weekend. I won't forget to redeem. It's already been redeemed, but that does start soon. Good luck if you're playing weekend league. Good luck if you're opening packs. Let me know if you have any questions about the market stuff that we talked about today, the Serie A packs, the Serie A stuff going up. The one thing I failed to mention, Serie A rare cards, right? Rare golds in the Serie A at the moment. Let's look at one guy, Veloso, right? He's a rare gold in the Serie A. You guys want to buy these? I think you want to try to keep smashing them up, keep buying them up on the weekends. They're already inflated, 1.6, 1.7K per card. If you can snag them under 1.5, I would go for it. I'm going to maybe try to stock the club with a few of these this weekend, um, but it all depends on what the upgrade SBC comes out on Monday as to whether I'm going to do a lot of them or just wait until Thursday and do a big send then. So that's going to be something we'll talk about this week as well. League unrares as well. If you want to buy those, snatch those up during landing rounds, continue piling up. If you want to try to just pay less than 1.5 K per card 
That way you're putting yourself in an okay situation at least for when the SBC would come out. Those are my thoughts on that. Serie A toss today though, boys. Let's see what EA can do. Hope they drop the hype. Again, drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.